Well, hello and welcome back to Simply Greg's 3V. A few weeks ago, I made the terrible mistake of posting a video on TikTok. It was, a, it was a, the new charging site that opened up at the train yards in Ottawa. And let's just say the comments were less than enthusiastic about the charging site. However, in that comment section, there was a lot of people that were leaving comments saying, why don't you show us the diesel generator? All EV charging sites are powered by a diesel generator. Where's the diesel generator? How come we're not seeing the diesel generator? Well, because there was no diesel generator. But just to show you that EV charging sites are not powered by a diesel generator, I have brought you to an EV charging site. Let's go through it and I will explain just the basics of how it works. So come over this way. So over here, you have your grid connection from your utility it comes down the pole and you even see here in the parking lot there's been a cut in the pavement so you have your pole you have your grid connection that comes through here they cut a slot in the pavement here so this is where the, the slot in the pavement is cut and this is not a diesel generator this is your utility room. This is what's called, this is your power cabinet. This is where all your switch gear is. So you have your utility connection that comes into here. You have your meters, you have your breakers, you have your conversion equipment. There's probably a, a transformer in, in here as well. We'll go visit another site that has a bit more of this equipment exposed on the exterior, but there is no diesel generator here. There is no fuel tank. There's just a grid connection powering this site. And this is what most EV charging sites are powered by. I would say 99% of EV charging sites. Now, yes, there are some sites that are powered by diesel generators, whether it's a backup diesel generator, a temporary setup, a very remote connection. Although here in Quebec, I think the only places that are backed up with diesel generators is La Tap, which I'll leave a clip here. Um, and maybe a few really, 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 really up north. But there are solar DC fast chargers here in Quebec, a couple of them that are, off, that are online. But in my experience, you've been on this channel for a long time. We've been to a lot of EV charging sites. I've never seen an, uh, a diesel generator powering one. Now, that doesn't mean that they don't exist. Uh, Australia, someone pointed out that in Australia, a lot of the sites are powered by a diesel gen uh, generator. Maybe not a terrible thing depending on what your grid connection is like but for the most part diesel generators are pretty efficient at generating electricity and you could charge a lot of cars off of it so in some cases it maybe it makes sense depending where you are in the world but in my experience I haven't seen one yet out in the field and these are your typical flow 50 kilowatt dispensers I believe the AC DC conversion takes place in the dispenser and basically your car tells this box how much energy it needs and they talk to each other. They're communicated with each other. Uh, some different sites like ChemPower, they'll do their site load leveling and conversion all in the um, utility room, as you call it. That's basically what you can call it. You can call this like your house utility room. That's where all your utilities are. But like ChemPower equipment will do their um, power sharing, power conversion, power distribution inside the uh, box and then go to the post. I don't think we need to explain chem power equipment. We've been to enough chem power sites <laughs> on this channel. But I just, I just wanted to say that there's no diesel generator here. There's no fuel tank. There's none of this nonsense that everyone seems to be reading off of Facebook. They heard from their uncle, their uncle's friend told them, their dad's buddy told them at some poker game. Very rare, very rare. I'm not saying that they don't exist, but it's very rare to see them, especially where we live here. So what we'll do is we'll hop into the Fiat, which is actually not charging for once because we're actually charging at home. Uh, we'll go check out another site near us that will explain more of the uh, what equipment is uh, where, but also again, you won't see a diesel generator there. Hell, I'll even visit a third site. So stop this nonsense that EV charging is powered by diesel generators because it just simply isn't. Come on, let's get in the car. We'll go to the... Uh, We'll head back near home and I'll show you. We've arrived at the charging site by my house and unfortunately there's a Mazda 3 that is blocking up the site. So ABB Terra 184, a lot of these were subsidized by the government. These are 
300 amps, 480 volts in, 300 amps, 400 amp nominal. So you have your grid connection is over here. I know this site extremely well. So your power comes down through here. There's your pole, you have your grid connection. You have your main transformer. There's an ID4 charging up there. So you have your transformer here. You have your switch gear here and you have more switch gear and equipment here. There is no diesel generator, there is no tanks. If you had a diesel generator here, there would be some sort of exhaust pipe on it. There'd be a diesel storage tank, but again, there's no diesel generator here at this charging site. Again, this is a, another transformer, I believe in there, and you have your switch gear, so you have your, your circuit breakers, your meters, all your electrical equipment in here. This is basically the utility room of the charging site. Again, power comes in from the pole, directly from the wires, pull down, and all our hydro here in Quebec is, or we just call it hydro, but all our power generation is hydro electricity. The site provider is going to be Hydro Quebec. This is Kushtar Circle K, pretty standard charging site. We've covered this enough. And we got some more infrastructure going in over here. And that's not cool, that guy's blocking that uh, site because that's power split. I brought you to two EV charging sites. I was going to bring you to a third, but it was a bit too busy and I get a bit uncomfortable uh, filming people when they're around in massive quantities like that. I also know that the comment section might be saying that I didn't show you the diesel generator that was just hidden off camera in a secret underground bunker or in a secret cabinet or in a house that's made to look like a house and there's a hidden generator inside. But please comment if you have seen diesel generators mainstream EV, charge, uh, EV charging um, on the mainstream if you're in Australia or wherever. I know I've seen, I, I keep mentioning Australia because I've seen a few diesel generator powered setups there that look very mainstream, that look like they're permanent installations. But as I said here, it, it's quite rare to actually see it unless it's a temporary install or it's an emergency situation. I do know for a fact Circuit Electric has um, diesel generator powered DC fast chargers in a couple mobile trailers that they'll deploy to um, disaster sites or if some big rig or took out a charging site or if there was a fire at, um, at a transformer or something, they'll deploy these diesel gen generator powered DC fast chargers, 24 kilowatts uh, shared each. Um, and uh, in Latap, there's one diesel charging, uh, sorry, one diesel generator up there, but that's for the whole site that powers the gas station, the restaurant, the rest area, and the EV chargers. But this place is super, super remote. But in terms of a mainstream, high use, high frequency site off a highway somewhere, I haven't seen any. And uh, we've traveled in, in the US, we've traveled here in Canada, we've been to Europe, as you know, plenty of times, I have not seen a diesel generator specifically to power EV chargers unless it's an emergency situation. I could be wrong. If you've seen it, please comment below. I hope you enjoyed the video. We got that out of the way because I was pretty annoyed having to continually answer these comments. If you want, we'll visit that site in Ottawa again. We'll do another YouTube short uh, showing you this hidden diesel generator that some people said was there but is obviously not. We'll see you in the next video.